Okay, in this problem, we're asked to do three things. First, verify that the particular solution, yp, satisfies the second order differential equation, which is given here. And then the y particular solution is yp equals negative x. And then we're asked to verify that y1, y2 satisfy the associated homogeneous equation. And y1 is equal to e to the x, y2 is equal to e to the negative x. And then we're asked to find the solution with the given initial conditions. And our initial conditions are y of 0 equals 1 and y prime of 0 equals 0. So for part A, we're going to take our particular solution and we're going to take the derivative twice, plug it in for y double prime, and then plug in our particular solution for y. So the first derivative of the particular solution is equal to negative 1. And then the second derivative of the particular solution is the derivative of negative 1, which is just 0. So we're going to plug in 0 for our y double prime. And negative x for our y. And we see that this equals x as it should. So that's verifying part A. For part B, we want to verify that y1 and y2 satisfy the associated homogeneous equation. The homogeneous equation that's associated with this is just y double prime minus y equals 0. And we're going to want to take the second derivative of both of these. So the first derivative of y1 is e to the x, which is the same thing as y1 double prime, since e to the x, no matter how many times you take the derivative, it's always e to the x. And y2 prime, we're going to see is negative e to the negative x. And the second derivative of that is just e to the negative x. So we're going to plug in to our homogeneous equation. We get that so y1 double prime minus y1 is e to the x minus e to the x, which equals 0. So the associated homogeneous equation is satisfied with y1. We're going to do the same with y2. We see that y2 double prime minus y2 is equal to e to the negative x minus e to the negative x, which equals 0. So this is also this. So y2 also satisfies the, the associated homogeneous equation. So we see that our complementary solution, yc, is equal to c1, some constant c1, times e to the x, plus some constant c2 times e to the, x, to the negative x. And then our general solution
is y equals negative x plus c1 e to the x plus c2 e to the negative x. So we're going to want to solve for these c1 and c2s, or the c1 and c2 using our given initial conditions. So we know that y of 0 is equal to 1 and y prime of 0 is equal to 0. So we're going to need the derivative of y. So we'll go ahead and take that. And we get that y prime is equal to negative 1 c1 e to the x minus c2 e to the negative x. And we're going to plug in our initial conditions. For this first one, we're going to get y of 0 equals 1. So plug in 0 for x. We get 0 plus c1 e to the 0. and c plus c2 e to the 0. Both of these terms, e to the 0, are 1. So we know that that simplifies to c1 plus c2, and we know that y of 0 equals 1. So c1 plus c2 is equal to 1. We're going to plug in our second initial condition. The derivative of y at 0 is equal to 0. So we'll plug in zeros for x's. We get so we get that y prime of 0 is equal to negative 1 plus c1 e to the 0, which we know is 1, minus c2 e to the 0 is equal to 0. So we can simplify this, bring this negative 1 over to the other side, and we get c1 minus c2 is equal to 1. So now we have a system of equations, c1 plus c2 is equal to 1, and c1 minus c2 is equal to 1. You might be able to figure out this solution just by looking at it, but we can just add these two equations. And we get two times C one is equal to two, and C one is equal to one. So we can plug that back into our one of the original equations. And we get one plus C two is equal to one, and we can see that C two is going to be zero. So we take our general solution and plug in our C1 and C2. And we see that our general solution is y of x equals negative x plus e to the x.